Morning, guys. How are you? Yeah, good. It was a nice afternoon, wasn't it, to be a goalkeeper yesterday? It was, weren't it? I think I might have been able to play in that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you What did you make of Arsenal's approach to it? Um, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, I thought it was a, a defensive masterclass. Um, the most important thing, Jeff, was to go there and not let Man City get points on you. Don't let them get any further away. Um, OK, the, the result from Liverpool put a little bit more pressure on it, but job was to to not not get beat. You know, I would have taken a point before the game. And, and you know, when I was watching the game, I was thinking, well, I think Man City might be happy with a point as well. You know, it wasn't brilliant. There's no doubt about that. But defensively, there was a lot to look at and a lot to admire. Yeah, and, and the two centre-halves, they, they certainly had Erling Haaland under shackles, didn't they, David, yesterday? I mean, he never, you know... He, very rarely was he able to uh, to get away from those two. They were particularly Gabriel as well. They were having a little bit of a ding dong, but I thought they marshaled him as well as I've seen any any defenders do so far this season. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Andy. You know, I think they restricted him to to one like half chance that he had with his left foot. I think it was, and he actually totally missed the ball. You know, so yeah. they were up getting to him. You know, it was very unlike Harlan to uh, to not even get a contact on the ball. But yeah, they were brilliant. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, then going forward. You know, we had a couple of like half chances. I think the Trossard one right near the end where he could have squared it. Yeah, you know, he but, should have done, shouldn't he? Cross yeah, to Martinelli. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then Jesus early on in I think it was in the first half, he had a half chance. But there weren't many like clear cut chances. I think Ache had a header that was straight at um at David Rea. Um yeah, it was it was a strange game, but it was one that I enjoyed because it was so tight, there was so much on it. And it's teams playing under pressure, you know, and don't forget that. And I, and I totally agree with Perry and what he said. You know, it, it could be a vital point at the end of the season. A strange game. is a strange conclusion as well because Pep Guardiola gave this sort of public dressing down to Jack Grealish. Well, what did you make of that? Yeah, it looked like he was trying to tell him to get, you know, try and get the ball off the goalkeeper a little bit earlier. Um, you know, but Pep, don't read too much into that. Pep's so passionate about what he sees and what he wants. You know, he doesn't care where he tells you, whether it's in front of a camera, in the dressing room, in the car park. You know, if he's got a point to make, he will tell you. Yeah. You know, so it's not It's not just... He was trying to help Jack, you know, obviously giving Jack advice for, for future games. And if I'm Jack, I'm thinking, oh, well, that's, that means that I've got a chance of playing a bit more. Yeah, very true. Looting up next, David, for Arsenal. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, look, you've got the Bayern Munich games looming not too far away now. Some tough games, really tough April, but uh, just one at a time. Is that going to be the the mantra now? It's got to be Andy. You know me with um, you know with Luton coming next. You know we've got to be aware of you know all the hype that went into this game against City. You know, but to make sure that we're we're at it against Luton. You know, as we found last season, we we had some really strange results. You know, against Southampton, I think it was at Brentford, and you know teams that we should have beaten, and we actually got beat at the Emirates. Um, but with this this team now, I'm a, I'm more confident. You know, it's um, it's something that I felt yesterday. People were asking me, "Oh, what do you think the score is?" You know, and how do you feel going up to City? And I'm like, "Well, I'm I'm more confident than I was last season." You know, because this team is better. You know, and it's had that experience of of being chased down last season and losing the uh, losing the title. So mentally, they're stronger. They just need to make sure that they they do. Game by game. You know, the, the Bayern game is a good time to play Bayern as well. You know, so that could be a real confidence boost. Uh, so, David, give us your one, two, three at the end of the season. <laughs> I'm gonna, obviously, I'm going to go Arsenal. Do I go Liverpool City or City-Liverpool? Liverpool are on fire. I was watching their game and they created a lot of chances. Yeah. Um, I'll go Arsenal-Liverpool City. City have got quite a few few injuries if you, uh, if you look at their lineup. Yeah, they, they oh, do. That's right, yeah. <laughs> and they've they, they, they got a lot of games to come uh, as well, a lot of cup games and, of course, Champions League games as well. Look, David, thanks very much indeed thanks, for that. Thanks, Dave. Cheers, guys. Thank you.